Hello everyone! We are almost in the midst of a brand new Mythic Hero banner. Uh, it is September's banner. It will be fun. <laughs> and we will have uh, some new heroes to kind of go through. So what I want to do with this video, like I do with every uh, prediction video I do, I'm going to walk you through who I think is probably going to be there, uh, who we know are going to be there, that being the uh, confirmed legendary Mythic Heroes that we've got. Uh, and then who I think the newcomer is likely to be. Uh, this month is the first month I've done it in like 60 days, <laughs> I feel like. Because last month, um, Legendary Julia was leaked, kind of. She The, the whole banner and everything showed up in the uh, in-game notifications like a couple pages back. Either way. I did a video on that uh, covering... The, the mishap, or the, the mis-release, I guess, uh, rather than an actual prediction because I knew who, <laughs> who it was. Um, so for what that's worth, uh, we're going to go through this, and then I have the Mythic Candidates hidden for right now. Uh, this month is different because a lot of stuff is already locked up, um, and that's why there's not a whole lot left. In fact, you can see from the banner predictions to the September Heroes, uh, we have everybody pretty much accounted for except a colorless unit, um, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. So first of all, let's just let's just knock the the elephant out of the room here. Uh, red is full, right? So we have Ellawood, we have Erica, and we have Reed. They are the red pool that we're dealing with uh, for this particular banner. So no prediction on red <laughs> makes my job uh, pretty easy, honestly. A quarter of the way done already. Sweet. Uh, so then we also have Ephraim, who uh, is making a legendary return, along with Yoon, or Yune, uh, for green, and then Air for colorless. So we have one candidate, at least, uh, already taken for each of the remaining color pools. So let's go into the banner predictions. Um, we don't have any red anyway. <laughs> but I can confidently see that ever since the new 5-star heroes have shown up. They have completely skipped the red units. Um, so I'm talking about Keaton, uh, Tibarn, uh, Aiden, Eden, um, those guys. They they have not shown back up in any of the legendary mythic banners. And I feel like part of the reason for that is, and this month kind of emphasizes it pretty nicely, there's just so many red units in that pool already that they don't have a place for it. But um, that said, those particular units do show up in, like, skills banners more frequently, so for what that's worth, uh, they're not gone, they just don't show up with the 8% rate, unfortunately, so my general advice, if you want a 5-star hero that's new, um, go for them now, <laughs> rather than, rather than maybe try and get them. Uh, next time. So like Fina, for example, right now, uh, she is a red five-star new unit. She's not likely getting on a legendary mythic banner. Um, at least not until they change the way that they are represented right now with three heroes from each uh, color pool. I don't see that happening. But that means we do have a decent chunk of uh, candidates for the remaining colors, that being blue, green, and colorless. Hooray! Uh, so if you're not in the know, we just kind of polished off Hot Springs, Kitsune, and Wolfskin, um, and we've started to kind of get into the Regal Rabbits. Uh, Grail's Devoted is going to be a new one, um, and a season for picnics I think is kicking off this month, and uh, you can see why down here. So last month I think we had Bruno from Regal Ragget, Re Regal Raggets, Regal Rabbits. Um, this month, uh, we don't have him, so the colorless pool is a little bit lighter. Um, but let's start from left to right, I guess. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, Regal Rabbits, uh, Marissa. Let's talk her, shall we? Um, she is blue. <laughs> she is a good candidate because, um, there are no other blue candidates from that particular <laughs> pool. Uh, and then we've also got uh, Soren from Grail's Devoted. That would be the next kind of banner that's uh, sort of incoming, I guess, for for lack of better phrasing. Um, Out of Gallia, I guess, would have been another option because those guys are, are currently still kind of in it. Um, 
but we had a blue demotion, so he's not in it, <laughs> I guess. Um, so that kind of limits our blue pool, and conveniently, unless they kind of like dip into uh, darkness within or bridal uh, belongings, I, I don't see them putting uh, any other blue five star hero in this pool. Uh, unless maybe a random brave unit shows up. So uh, more than likely, I think what our blue pool is going to consist of is Legendary Ephraim, Spring Marissa, and Valentine's um, Soren here. So again, pretty clear cut. Uh, that's that's who is likely to be in the blue pool. Green, uh, I was just talking about out of Gallia. We have Ranulf, uh, who is likely going to be in it. Again, just because of process of elimination. There aren't <laughs> that many untapped green units that we're looking at. Um, I believe we already had Grail, so that kind of takes out Grail's Devoted. Uh, and then, you know, Regal Rabbits, Veronica, she's the other candidate that I think we're likely going to see in the green pool. So, um, you know, it, there, there's not a whole lot. Again, unless we start dipping into Bridal and Darkness, uh, I don't see it happening. I genuinely don't see it happening. In fact, we didn't even have green units in those banners, so unless they jump forward to stuff that took place in like June and July, uh, <laughs> I don't even know uh, if if that's the case. So green, in my opinion, pretty much a hard lock, similar to blue, uh, if not more so, with Yoon, uh, Ranolf, and Spring Veronica. Colorless. Colorless gets a little bit more dicey, my friends. Uh, so we do have air. We know we have air. She's there doing her thing, uh, like most colorless mythic and legendaries do. Uh, <laughs> you'll see them very frequently because they're very far and few between. However, they are the easiest ones to kind of create, in my opinion, um, just because the Dragonstone type unit, they can be colorless no matter what. Uh, they can be any color, really, no matter what. Tiki is a great example because we have so many different variations of her that are like red and colorless uh, and now Nagi who is technically kind of like a green uh, well she is a green but she's kind of technically kind of tiki uh, so we almost have a full spectrum tiki emblem going on I guess is what I'm trying to say um, and actually summer tiki is green too summer adult tiki is green so I guess we're just missing a no no nope. we have colorless tiki actually dark uh, fallen tiki is uh, colorless I think so we do have a full spectrum actually never mind I lied to you uh, <laughs> so that just that just goes to prove my point uh, dragonstones can pretty much be any color that we want them to and uh, with a lot of mythic options in the realm of dragons uh, colorless seems like a pretty ideal option and I'll talk about that in the candidates in just a second but uh, air is obviously a lock and then season for picnics, that would be Jenny. Uh, she would be the first, first introduction uh, into this particular situation. Um, now, we could maybe see Lucas, but that means they would have to jump uh, Valentine's or Marissa. And the picnic banner came after those. So, uh, they could jump to Lucas with blue, but I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, <laughs> same with Felicia. Uh, Felicia was green. She was also in the picnic banner. Again, I don't think they're going to jump those two. Uh, just as, uh, unless maybe Ranolf. They might jump Ranolf. Um, I don't think they will. But uh, that that is definitely an option. So that's who I'm kind of looking at for that. Again, unless they kind of jump into May, June, July banners. This is their only really colorless option uh, that they've got to roll with. Because we just had uh, Kanegus not that long ago, so this is it for Colorless. So, if uh, I did my math right, that means we have a hard lock on every color except Colorless. So, who does that leave for our new candidate? Well, it's likely a Colorless unit. However, I typically say that, uh, I find myself saying that rather more frequently than not. And I have started to kind of hate myself <laughs> with regards to that, just because uh, it, it's such an easy cop out. But sometimes that's the answer. Um, like with uh, Duma, for example, he was a colorless dragon, and that was the easy answer for Duma. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna do that again. So my first option for a uh, a new colorless hero 
I'm going to throw it to Mila. Um, reasons why it could be Mila. We just had a special banner featuring Valentian units. Uh, we had Renea, who was a free unit. That's kind of a big deal. Um, this reunion of Renea, Burkut, it kind of like jettisons me into like a best case Valentian scenario, right? Uh, and in that realm, I like to think that Mila uh, had far more say in things over Duma. Because <laughs> I feel like uh, she maybe had uh, softer vision for everyone, as the game kind of implies. Um, we're due, honestly, she makes sense. Uh, we already have Duma, who is also colorless. She is the bro uh, sister of Duma. Duma is her brother. Uh, so it makes sense, again, that she would also be colorless. For a long time, I thought maybe, like, green Dragonstone would make more sense. Um, and that is an option, too. She's kind of like the bounty uh, harvest-type deity that they have. So green, I guess, for whatever intents, uh, feels like it would make sense to me. But colorless, honestly... Uh, given the lineage, I feel like that would make uh, a more purposeful mythic hero. So we did just have uh, a banner representing some Valentian love, uh, so I think they may continue that. But if I was a betting man, and I am, because I play gacha games like all day, every day, <laughs> um, I would say we're probably getting a Shadow Dragon unit, uh, or maybe a new new mystery, mystery of the emblem uh, unit as well. And I'll tell you why couple of reasons. Number one, Lost Lore. Lost Lore played a big part uh, last month. I know we're currently going through a leave right now, but uh, last month we had a heavy showcase over um, Nina. And Nina is very important because of characters like Medeus. And uh, we already saw someone kind of come into play with regards to that, that being Camus or Camus or however you want to pronounce it. I'm not sure anymore how to pronounce Fire Emblem Hero names, so there you go. But um, I feel like Medeus would make a lot of sense. Uh, Medeus kind of a big deal, if you're unaware. Uh, he played kind of an integral role in trying to um, obtain Nina, but Camus Camus stopped him from doing that. And given the storyline that Nina had before, uh, given the rise of Sirius that we just had on this banner, I think Medeus is a decent candidate. Um, not only that, he was also an enemy in um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I'm just excited for the for the, the encore. I'm, I'm excited for the port. Uh, so Medeus makes a lot of sense. Again, uh, he's known as the Shadow Dragon. I'm sure that some attributes would come into play with regard to that. I'm not sure what the particular attribute we're looking for this time around is. Could be Shadow, um, <clears throat> but who knows. Uh, I don't keep track of that like I should, unfortunately. So, <clears throat> Dark Dragon, Medeus, makes a lot of sense. Uh, but if there was somebody else who would also make a lot of sense, it would be Gato. So Gato is... Uh, how do, I, how do I explain Gato without kind of spoiling some things? Uh, he is one of the Divine Dragons. He survived a war against the Earth Dragons, who Medeus is kind of like a part of. So, kind of a counterpart to Medeus, if you will. Um, the interesting thing about him is, in Shadow Dragon particularly, uh, and I'm not sure if this also translates into... Um, new Mystery of the Emblem or uh, Mystery of the Emblem, but because I've not played those, but in Shadow Dragon anyway, uh, you happen to get Nagi after Gato sends you to an alternate realm uh, once certain conditions are met in game, uh, and then you get to meet Nagi and a lesser falchion. So uh, he's kind of the mediator between Marth meeting Nagi and not. Um, and given that we just had Nagi again uh, on this banner, I feel like that is a pretty strong indication uh, that we're kind of diving into her backstory a bit. Um, and even with uh, even with forging bonds, we kind of learned that she had no memory of her past and, and things like that. So I feel like if they introduced somebody to kind of help fill in the gap, Gato would make the most sense. 
uh, because in any possible realm of situation, uh, he would be the one that would introduce Nagi to the uh, the team, if, if you will. Um, so again, any of these guys, you know, they're all kind of like dragons. Uh, <laughs> dragons? They're all dragons for the most part. And uh, I feel like you could go colorless on any of them. Um, attribute, again, could vary between any of them. I don't think there's really a set distinction at this point. Um, but it could be interesting to see uh, any of these guys get in as well. Um, I think they're all pretty strong candidates. I think they will at some point be mythic heroes, if nothing else. Um, so there you go. Those are my three candidates. Those are the ones I'm sticking to. I could have added more, honestly, but I just didn't necessarily see the distinct connection between these guys, what's been going on lately in Heroes, um, and the like. And uh, they're all, like, this all kind of hinges on the fact that they're all uh, in a colorless lock, uh, which I genuinely think that they are. Um, so, for what that's worth, I'm pretty sure we're at least having a colorless mythic hero. And uh, I would probably put 20 bucks, well, not bucks. I won't, I won't bet money. I'll bet the orbs. <laughs> I would bet a full circle, I would bet 20 orbs, uh, that it would be one of these three candidates. Um, so, there you have it. That's my uh, prediction. Uh, like I said, banner predictions in general, I feel pretty com uh, pretty confident on those in particular. Mythic candidates, I don't know, man. Uh, they could come out of left field, they could go with something that makes sense. I feel like it's going to be one of those three. In the comments, though, let me know what you guys think. Who are we going to see as our newest mythic hero? Who do you think we'll see on the banner? Don't tell me red, because those are already locked up. Again, were you listening in the beginning? I don't, I don't know, but I'll say it just so you remember. We don't have any new reds this time. No red heroes. <laughs> no red heroes. Uh, let me know who you guys think we're going to be seeing. Subscribe if you like, because we have a lot more uh, heroes videos coming out uh, this week and next, and so on. Uh, new Cypher video coming out probably in the next two-ish to three weeks, depending on when my Ami Ami order gets here, uh, and all kinds of good stuff with that. So, thank you again so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments section, and I will catch you next time.